Night runners are perceived as faceless, evil people who run naked in the darkness, thereby wreaking havoc in otherwise peaceful rural villages. This video investigates night running, the mysteries associated with it, the benefits and harms of night running, and the impact of indigenous knowledge stigmatization on this practice. Night running is one of the indigenous practices in Western Kenya that has been stigmatized. Given this, little is actually known about night running. One of the strategies of unraveling night running is by considering the perceptions of who a night runner is. Night runners are as mysterious as riddles because their actions are undertaken in the secrecy of the night. Some say that night runners are persons who run naked at night and perform acts to scare or irritate other people. Some argue that a night runner is a person who runs around people's homesteads in the dead of night, causing paralyzing fear. According to Oktala, night runners are distinct from witches in that they are harmless and do not cause deaths. Although persons who encounter night runners report that they feel nervous, fearful, and mesmerized in their presence, night runners are simply nuisances who disturb people's sleep. Legend says that night running originates from a kind of force or power that compels the individuals to act in weird ways. This view is supported by the respondents' assertions that night runners are ordinary people during the day but are transformed into strange beings who exhibit weird habits at night. Most night runners are individuals who inherited the behavior from their ancestors and passed it on to their descendants. However, there is a school of thought that views night runners as antisocial outcasts who are categorized together with deviants, wizards, witches, thieves, and suicidal people. The respondents to this study disagreed with this view, explaining that harmful night runners are actually witches. Such night runners are also reported to tame wild animals such as hippos, leopards, snakes, hyenas, and crocodiles, which they ride at night. These night runners not only scare but can also harm their victims, for instance striking them dumb or even killing them. Night runners basically run around their neighborhoods. They venture out after the village has gone to sleep and may stay out until dawn. As they run, they are reported to perform very strange acts. People in Kenya stated that night running is a menace to their communities and should not be encouraged. When they were asked to identify some benefits of night running, they had little to say. However, they pointed out that night runners boost neighborhood security. The respondents also claimed that night running or nighttime jogging was healthy, stating that most night runners were slim and healthy because of the many hours of jogging and other vigorous physical activities they engage in. The respondents also observed that night running is a unique cultural activity in some communities that could be used as an attraction for indigenous tourism and serve as a source of income. They cited the case of a movement in Homa Bay County pushing for the recognition of night running as a sport from which people can make a living. It is evident from the views above that night running is generally perceived as having no socioeconomic benefits. If the practice is legitimized, then it could be exercised ethically and thereby become more beneficial than it is currently perceived to be. Although the respondents felt that ordinary night running was harmless, they pointed out that it has some intended and unintended harmful consequences on the society's peace and tranquility. Opinions in literature also reveal the view that night running is harmful. Some people say that night running is demonic and is driven by malevolence. Some state that night runners exhibit animal behavior and are uncaring to their village mates, who are usually kinsmen. These views explain why people are discouraged from socializing with persons or families suspected to be night runners. In fact, some people say that young men and women are forbidden from marrying into families of night runners. Night running was a valid reason for divorce in traditional society and thus was a cause of stress and severance of societal ties. The respondents also explained that night runners can be destructive, especially when they use wild animals such as hippos that destroy people's crops. Such animals, which the night runners tame, can also create severe losses to the society by attacking or eating domestic animals and people. Night runners who tame and ride wild animals like hippos, crocodiles, or hyenas are terrible because they can kill. 
One respondent stated that a night runner used to untie and ride his dairy cow, and then one day it was found dead. In some cases, night running is not perceived as being harmless. The respondents explained that such night runners could also be jealous neighbors driven by malice. Although genuine night running does not aim to cause any harm to society, night runners can cause unintended harm to their victims. From the literature review and interviews, it is evident that the harm from night running far outweighs its potential benefits. Destigmatizing the practice can reduce these harms. Since night runners have been part of Alma Bay County from time immemorial, it cannot be ignored or wished away. Unless appropriate action is taken, the practice will continue to harm society. Night runners fear being identified because this can lead to grave consequences, including lynching, divorce, or alienation. Night running is a mysterious activity that many people do not understand. It is stigmatized by society largely because it is conducted under the cover of darkness and with utmost secrecy. Ordinary night runners perform their acts for amusement and do not intentionally harm other people. Some benefits, such as health and security, may result from night running. However, there are several unintended harms that result from it. People say that witches use the guise of harmless night running to hurt, curse, or even kill their neighbors. Because it is not possible for residents to differentiate between these two categories of night runners in the darkness, generalized stigmatization has developed. Night running is a form of indigenous knowledge whose cultural and socioeconomic value should be investigated, debated, validated, and advocated. It is intricately woven into the cultural fabric of residents of Homa Bay County and will continue being practiced in secret with all the associated intentional and unintentional harms. That's all time we have for today's video. Thanks for watching.